Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look at the 55 gallon half barrel. First, let's look and see how we're doing drying out this portion. Certainly looks like the top is getting it pretty dry, but as we kind of push things aside, you can see this is still still in process. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep pushing apart the the part that's managed to dry out a little bit, and then I'll just flop up the flop no fluff fluff up the next layer and let that dry. And maybe by winter it'll actually be a decent consistency. I notice a lot of people having moisture equilibrium problems. Let's just call it that. And it has a lot to do with the unheated, unair conditioned basement that although it's nice and cool in here, it does not dry any of the, the bins out. In fact, it seems almost to be accumulating moisture in the bins to some degree just because of the humidity in the air. But that's that part fluffed up a little bit mix in the part that's dry, maybe maybe it will come to some sort of equilibrium soon. As you can see the worms are making yet more avocado trees for me. I have to start an avocado tree nursery. Alright, well, that's the old section fluffed up, and hopefully we'll get somewhere with that sometime soon. Here is the middle section, and I actually did start doing the same sort of thing, because it too was getting to be too moist. So, there's no real food in here, I don't think. Maybe some compostable bags, but I haven't been feeding this part but it is, you know, noticeably kind of damp, a little too damp. So we'll move the stuff that's managed to dry and add that to the part that's a little bit too wet. Makes sense, right? And just kind of put that back. And then I'll set up the camera for the new area where I am, in fact, doing the feeding, which we call the leading edge. All right. Let's take a look and see what we got. Well, it, it looks like a lot of happy worms. See some very pretty castings on top. Avocado shell. Sprout of some sort. Let's see if we can find a worm ball from previous feedings. We did have the hot pepper feeding previously, which they did not appear to mind at all. As, as of right this second, I'm not really finding a little bit of the, the pepper skin, but not a lot. You kind of still smell it, still smell the hot peppers. Yep, here and there you see just a little red and some seeds. Worms seem to be kind of distributed throughout. We are making progress on these. Just, you know, not as fast as anybody would have hoped. So just flipping through this, I'm not, not seeing a worm ball of any kind so far. Cinnamon. So 
That seems to be a little bit new on the peppers. But other than that, I don't really see anything. All right, well, I'm going to mound this up on this side here. postable bags on the bottom and any of the large food scraps that I find. then we will get them some new food today. All right, well, it's sweet peppers, tea bags, and bread. Maybe some green peppers. And then what I have for bedding right now is wet cardboard. My shredder died on me and I'm waiting for my package from Amazon to get me my new 18 sheet new one. So all I had were hand torn up pieces of cardboard that I was going to shred, but we didn't have any, it just up and died in the middle of an Amazon box. So right now this is starting to look a little bit like a lasagna bin because we don't have any any more bedding. Okay. Then in addition to that, they're going to get the coffee and vegetables from work, whatever whatever there is in the coffee bin. Looks like some apple cores and orange peels and paper. And then I'm gonna put a, a sprinkling of the old castings on top of it to prevent smell and also to promote worm and bacterial transition to the new part. And I don't know if I mentioned it before, but in the case of these new compostable bags, I have been microwaving them before I put them in the compost bin, and that does seem to be making things go faster. And then we're just going to cover up the leading edge with its bubble wrap, and that is it for the 55-gallon bin today. If you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up, and if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.